Hello everyone, namaste, my name is Chantelle and welcome to this stretch and meditate class with myself. Get your mat ready and um, let's get started. I really wanted to develop a class today for you um, for all those situations in our life which arise where we can't actually quite commit to our full practice. This is what I call plan B. We can always have a plan B option in the back of the mind where we still show up. It might not be in that full capacity, but we're still committing to making positive steps in our day towards bringing balance to our body and mind and bringing that inner peace. So no matter what's going on in our life, we can always come back to a plan B, which is a shortened practice, which is a recommitment to ourselves that you know we're honoring this time and space no matter what else is going on. So as the name suggests, it's going to be quite a brief practice today. And um, I'm hoping that it might inspire you to reach out for this video recording um, in those times where you haven't been able to um, get to that full practice, but you still can take this time to connect. So let's get started. Coming to a nice seated position, lengthening out through the spine, and just drawing those collarbones away from each other, start to close the eyelids down and uh, soften through the muscles of your face. I love any opportunity to practice outdoors. I feel like Mother Nature has such a way of just supporting the body in such a profound way and helping to restore energy levels and balance. So often when we are seeking a plan B option, there are things that aren't going so to plan and we're a bit time poor. So if you can get outside in nature, then I highly suggest it. So as we close down the eyelids, let's just become fully aware of your body laying there on the mat. Take a few nice, deep, long, relaxing breaths in and out and just start to allow those beautiful yoga sounds, those beautiful mantras just to start to wash over you washing away any stress in the body, any tension in the mind. And as we take this time to commit to our practice in whatever capacity that is, let's just check in with ourselves and honor where we're actually at. What are our energy levels like? You know, where is the tension in the body? Breathing into those spaces, as we become more aware of the breath, we start to lengthen and slow it down. Softening into the here and now, stepping back from those everyday worries and concerns, and just starting to take that inward focus. So we're going to start by this Brahmari breath. We use this full capacity of our lungs. However, as we exhale, we're gonna bring a humming sound through the throat for the entire length. So let's exhale together. Inhale, allow the breath to move through the abdomen, up through the middle portion of the lungs, up into the upper lungs. And then humming. Let's do three more. Now to our breath, we're going to add the yoga sound Om Hari Om. This is just going to help to relieve the mind of any stress. So as we inhale, you might like to say the yoga sound Om Hari Om in your mind. And then as we exhale, we say it out loud and we just need to make a little effort to focus the mind on the sound. Om Hari Om. 
time. Om Hari Om Om Hari Om Two more Om Inhale, bring your hands into prayer. Take a moment to feel the influence of these breathing techniques and this much of breath work on your body, your mind, your heart. Now let's bring some movement to support the body. We're gonna inhale, we're gonna interlace the hands, allow the elbows to rise up towards the ceiling. Exhale, press the hands out, round through the back. Inhale, draw the hands up, looking up softly. Allow the shoulder blades to release, part the hands. We're gonna side bend over towards the right, really keeping those sitting bones grounded, reach through those fingertips. Inhaling up over towards the left. Feel that nice opening through the side of the body. Inhale, arms rise up. We're going to do a gentle twist to the right, opposite hand to opposite knee. And this back hand is just close to our bottom on the fingertips. And we're just gently on those fingertips, looking over that right shoulder if it's comfortable for your neck. Inhaling up. And exhale over to the opposite side. Inhaling. And we're going to bring the hands behind, interlacing the hands behind the back, squeezing through those shoulder blades. Let's do that one more time, inhaling. Exhale. Inhale up to the ceiling. Part the hands, side bend over to the right. Inhale back to center, over to the left. Inhaling up, gentle twist. Inhale, exhale. Interlacing those hands up to the ceiling. Sorry, drawing them up to the ceiling. Interlacing behind the back now. And exhale, releasing. We're going to take the left leg and we're going to support it as if we're rocking a baby. A few ways you can support the ankle and the knee and just go from side to side. If you have a little bit more flexibility, you can use the creases of the elbows, but we don't want to compromise this nice length in the back. So this is really great for tight hips. If you've been sitting down um, all day or you just need some release through this area, this is a really good one to just keep that um, flowing through your body. And then let's release that down, opposite side. Keep that breath flowing. Keep the mind connected to the movement. Don't allow it to drift off. Beautiful. We're going to draw the soles of our feet together. We're going to draw them away from our groin area. So like we're trying to make a diamond shape with our mat making sure that you're on your sitting bones, hinging from the hips of the cre um, from the creases of the hips here. We're going to inhale our hands up. As we exhale, bring our hands down to prayer with a nice flat back. We wanna just come into a little bit of a forward fold. You'll feel this through the outer hip area. This is where we're trying to feel the nice stretch. Draw the chin in so there's length through the back of your neck. Take a few nice deep breaths in and out. Inhaling, coming up and exhale, releasing. Just bring your hands onto your knees. Just draw your chin to your chest. Relax the head over to the right, back to center and over to the left. Just getting some mobility through the neck region.
and then just relax the head to the back of the neck and some nice circular mindful rotations and then coming back to center we're gonna jump over to all fours making sure that our knees are underneath our hips and our hands are underneath our shoulders as we move through the pelvis here tilting we're going to broaden through the chest lengthen out through the crown of the head as we exhale we're going to press the hands into the mat round through the back draw the navel back to the spine inhale few more times. Coming back to tabletop, let's bring the big toes together, widening the feet so they're beyond the edges of the mat and come and sit back onto your heels. Once more, we're hinging from those hip creases. We're going to walk the torso down without compromising the integrity of that nice flat back. And we want to keep drawing those sitting bones down towards the heels. So just come to a position that works for you. And then we're gonna walk our hands over to the right side. Exhale and releasing down. Inhale, back to center. Over to the left, square up those hands. Inhale to prepare, exhale, releasing. Inhaling up, back to center. And then we're going to draw the bottom off the heels, bring the legs in a little bit. And then we're gonna slant the hips forward and just really bring some nice rotation through those hips. Back the other way. And then coming back to a neutral position, we're going to curl our toes under. We're gonna lift the knees and just hover them off the ground for a few moments, building some heat into the thighs. And then we're going to draw the navel back towards the thighs and then let's extend up into a down dog. So it's like we're trying to make an upside down V with our body. So lengthen out through those hamstring muscles as we start to work the torso back towards the thighs. And then let's draw the body forward into a plank position as we press out through the heels, stay nice and strong through the shoulders, no sinking in, really squeeze under those armpits if it's too much, come onto your knees. And then back into our down dog. And then lower those knees down, making sure that the knees are underneath the hips. And then we're just going to bring our hands to our lower back with the thumbs facing forward. Imaginary imagining that we have a wall in front of us and before we come into any back bend which will start to open up the front of the body and just remember we're trying to take it gently and slowly first we have to lift up out of the hips then we want to lengthen through the spine and then we want to come into that back arch just let the gaze be soft the face be soft don't throw the head back Opening through the front body really helps to promote those digestive channels, pathways in the body. Very invigorating for our mood. Inhale, coming back up as we gently come into that child's pose. Allow the shoulders to roll forward. Breathe through the lower back. Mm. 
Inhale, lifting the gaze. Come to lie down on your mat. We've got a few little last stretches to do. On your backs now. We want to bring the soles of our feet onto the mat. And let's bring the ankle onto the right knee. Draw that right foot off the ground. Now what we want to be doing is we want to check that our lower back is even, that we're not coming onto one side. And we want to choose a hand position, whether that's behind the knee or in front of the knee. Whatever hand position we choose, we want our shoulder blades to be grounded. Draw the chin in slightly, breathe through this nice deep stretch through the sciatica there. You might want to bring a rotation to this right ankle. And releasing that leg down. Now with this left foot, we're going to draw it up towards that right buttocks. And to the best of our body's ability, we want to line up that left knee with the left hip bone. Now this might be enough for you. You might be really feeling that through that quad, starting to release through that hip um, flexor. Great. If you want to go a little further, you can draw this right sole of the foot off the mat, but take care. It's an area of our body we can really do damage in quite easily. And option three is to interlace our hands around the knee. Breathing. Inhale, exhale, release. Bring the hands out to a T, unthread that leg. Then we're going to cross it over to the left. Just lift, lift the hips a little and shift them over towards the left a few centimeters. We're going to inhale to prepare as we exhale. We're going to allow those knees just to relax over to the right hand side. Your gaze is up. Or if it's comfortable for your neck, you can look over to the left, this left hand as well as we bring in this nice stretch to help to detoxify the body, those internal organs. Inhaling up, unthreading, and then we're going to bring this left solar foot onto the mat, repeating that same exercise, checking that we are even through that lower back, that we haven't brought that weight over to the right. A few nice deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, releasing. Taking this right foot, tucking up near that left buttocks, lining up right knee to right hip to the best of your body's ability and then coming into those options that I did give you on the other side. Inhaling, releasing, unthreading, taking that foot over, hands come out to a T. And we're gonna lift the hips up, we're gonna shuffle them over to the right a few centimeters before inhaling to prepare, exhale. And we release over into this nice twist. Inhaling, coming up, unthreading the legs and coming back to centre. Then draw the knees into the chest and draw the forehead up to the knees, rounding through the back. And you can stay down for a little bit, but I'm going to rock and roll up as I'm going to guide you just for a few moments, just through some relaxation. So getting nice and comfortable. Just allowing the limbs of your body just to relax out by your side. Taking a few nice deep breaths, softening the muscles around the face. Listening to the nice mantra meditation music being played. And then gradually in your own time, starting to draw your awareness back. 
wriggling your fingers and toes and just rolling out to your side, taking a little recovery breath there and then gradually coming into a seated position. Just a few 10 minutes of stretching can really do the body wonders. And we're going to end now with some Kirtan meditation. It's the heart and soul of the yoga system. It's really where that beautiful, um, where we can really start to tap into cultivating inner peace through this meditation practice. We're going to use that Om Hari Om yoga sound that we used at the beginning with the breath, but this time I'm going to say it. You listen to it and then you respond back. We go back and forth in this way, exchanging the sound together. long relaxing breaths feeling the influence of your practice on you thank you so much take care have a great day let me know how you go with the class and uh, see you again soon namaste